We are less than three weeks away from Black Friday, the official kickoff to the holiday season. It is a time for family get-togethers, delicious food, and for a lot of people, overspending. You, did you know that last year, Americans spent $4.3 trillion on retail purchases alone? Well, today, we're going to share some easy situations to avoid so you don't pay too much. The first scenario to look out for is trying to dodge the crowd. A study from the Journal of Consumer Research found that when surrounded by groups of people, you're less likely to buy unnecessary items. Next is when you're reminded of the time. A Stanford study found people were more likely to spend 51% more on lemonade if they were told to spend some time while enjoying it. The researchers concluded you're more likely to overspend when you think you're paying for an experience. Third, when you're buying an embarrassing item. According to a Journal of Consumer Research study, 80% of people buy something extra with their embarrassing item to distract from it. Avoid it by buying embarrassing items online. Three things to avoid to help avoid impulse buys. Okay, so on top of these strategies, there's also some inside information that retailers probably do not want you to have. Information that could save you money. We're talking about what you find on a price tag. It could be telling you a lot more than what something costs. That's if you know how to crack the code. Hunting for the best price is an American pastime. But what if the nine numbers and symbols on a price tag could help you save money? There's kind of a secret code on many price tags and price signs at various retailers. And if you know some of those tips, you may be able to save some extra money. Target, for example, has a pricing strategy that can indicate if another markdown is likely, according to an analysis by two consumer groups. Take a look at these handbags on clearance. Their price ends with 98 cents. Same with these t-shirts. But that means they could be marked down again. A price ending with a four is a final markdown. Edgar Dworsky of ConsumerWorld.org says knowledge is power for shoppers. You're learning the tricks of the trade, basically. If you know some of these codes and know some of the color codes, you probably can save some money. The price survey found the magic number on a tag is seven at the gap and Old Navy. That means a final markdown. At Sears, a price tag with 88 cents also means final markdown. A 97 indicates a discontinued item. Home Depot will end a price with the number six or a green tag to indicate the lowest price. Secret codes are secret for a reason. They're really meant mostly for internal use. What you do with this information really depends on your personality type. You almost have to be kind of a gambling kind of person to figure out when do I take the plunge? Do I take the plunge at 50 because I really want that and I don't have too many? Do I wait till 70? The right information and the right strategy can pay off and who doesn't like that? Shopping experts have one more piece of advice. Even though something may be discounted at one store doesn't mean it'll be discounted at the same store somewhere else. Well, now that we know how to shop smarter, how about spending some of that newfound money on fall fashion? Up next, we find out what's hot right now, plus how to dress for your body type so you look your best. And a little bit later on, does this look like something that might keep your cat busy? Well, that's what the cat's meow is supposed to do, so we are going to put it to the test. But first, we've been trying to save you some money today. Our friends at Sussex County Federal Credit Union want to do the same. And here's Cherie with the latest tip. On behalf of Sussex County Federal Credit Union, I'm Cherie Coleman with this week's Dollars and Cents Tip. The car buying process can oftentimes be a stressful task. After selecting all of the bells and whistles that you want, then comes the often overwhelming task of discussing the terms of the financing. Compare the savings between receiving a 0% interest rate versus cash back, which is better. Typically, a cash back offer lowers the amount you need to finance, so even with a rate higher than 0%, you'll still receive a lower monthly payment than if you took advantage of the 0% offer. To help consumers compare the difference and make an informed decision, visit the calculators page at sussexcfcu.com. Together, we can achieve more. 